are now recording with Jing, and what I'm going to show you is how to make a hyperlink in a YouTube description clickable. It's really quite simple. You just have to make sure you put the HTTP colon slash slash before the rest of the URL. If I put in, let's go look at this video, if I put in just the domain name.com, it wouldn't be clickable. Here, I'll do that up here at the top. I'll put in www.isuccess.com and then we'll go ahead and click on uh, update, save changes and then we'll go look at the video and you'll see that that link at the top is not clickable while the link um, further down that has the HTTP colon backslash in front of it is clickable. So what I need to do now is look at this video not in the editing screen but in the regular like view screen. So let's click on the video title. It takes us to where we're watching the video. Now look over here at the right. This is what's important. This is the more info on the video and www.isuccess.com is not clickable at the top. However, the HTTP colon slash slash isuccess.com is clickable. Now, because I'm the video owner, I can edit the video and go and add that HTTP colon slash slash, and that will make it clickable. Now, this video we're looking at actually shows how to make a hyperlink or an image clickable in HTML, and that's a little bit different because you have to wrap tags around it, but I'll get into that into a different video. Okay, so I've updated that. Remember how it wasn't clickable before. We'll scroll down, click on Save Changes, and now if we go look at it, we'll see that that link that was not blue and clickable before is now clickable. See that? Now, of course, you can't choose the keywords in the link. It has to be whatever's in your URL. So use that knowledge when you're deciding on what to name your page or what domain name to choose to get the keywords you're targeting in that link. But that is now clickable.